Hey everyone, Panos here from Nutris Pooches. We have honey here today. She's another dog from Southern Shire Council Animal Shelter. She's going to come here and volunteer her time and give them a hand and help all the dogs in need so they can find good homes. Anyway, sit. Good girl. Purpose of our video today is to talk about what we do when we go on a walk. So, I think we've mentioned other videos before, but I want to solely dedicate this video to mean that when we're out on a walk, if I was to go for an hour walk, I'll do 20 minutes on a structured walk, which means that I want her on a loose lead next to me, that she's following me, we're following the commands. If I say sit, you sit until I say okay, and we're good to walk again. Then I'll do 20 minutes on a long lead, which I'll get to the park in a moment, show how we do that. And then we do a 20 minutes walk back home. So we're gonna walk down to the park now, put on a long lead and I'll show you what that's all about. On this particular track, we like to walk along the rocks. It teaches her to slow down while she thinks about every step she takes while she's walking along the rocks. It's good for us as we have to get our mind body working together as we're walking her. You can see how it's just a little bit of enrichment for the walk too. Now we've come to the park. We've done our little 20 minutes of walking and now I'm gonna put her on the long lead. Honey, sit. Good girl. So what I have here is a 10 meter nylon lead. So I'm gonna attach it onto her and I'll come right back in a second. Always clip one lead on first before you unclip the other. Because a dog hears the clip and boom, they're gonna go running because they've conditioned to hear that clip, meaning it's um, the lead's coming on or coming off. So always have one on before you undo the other so we don't have a dog running away from us. And now we say, okay, go, 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 go. Good girl. Yeah! And this is free time for her now. So this is a time where she can pee, poo, play, sniff, chase the ball, and have good fun. Um, we always want our dogs to express themselves like a dog. So it's good that we have control over them on the short lead, but it's also important that we teach her how to have fun and release all that pent-up energy she's got. So I'm going to get the ball out and have a bit of fun and play around with her, and then we'll go to the next step of our video. Good girl! Hey! Pop, pop. Hey! Good girl. See what the long lead provides, it gives her a time to run free and have a good exercise, work the body, play with the ball, still working on some of our basic obedience. And um, and also you can see how it's fulfilling more of that physical need, what the walk just doesn't do. So the walk is really good, having that calm walk that I just showed you before, really, really important. But having free time as well on a lead where she can't run around, so we've still got her under control. So she can't run and chase another dog and chase the birds and run away from me and gives us another opportunity to practice the recall and things like that as well and also um what's really important as well is that when we have the lead the way to hold it so check out our leash locking video that we've got we want to make sure we've got a good grip on it putting your lead over through the thumb like so rather than holding like that she runs and boom it's going to hurt our hand and um and yeah this is really important and one more tip is when you are going to give her long lead time don't start the walk with a long lead don't end the walk on a long lead you want to have the long lead time right in the middle of the walk so you're going to do 20 minutes structured walk 20 minutes free time 20 minutes walk back home is ideal doing that every day so every single walk i do with the dogs we're always walking to the park and um and we don't start the walk or end the walk on the long lead we always do in the middle if you are going to choose to go to dog parks or even at your favorite park even if it's just um, down the road or even if it's a big drive away have it your park maybe two or three blocks away, walking to the park, give her free time, walk back home. We want to start the event being focused, finish the, the, the event being focused as well so we don't um, have a crazy dog when we get back home. So, hope this helps and um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, good girl. Sit. Sit. <coughs> yep, sit.
We've had our long lead time. Now we will walk back home along the beautiful coastline, Tarrant Point. What do you reckon, honey? And you can see how she's walking a lot more relaxed and calm, which is exactly what we want. And the fact that we've stimulating her mentally and physically, we've given her everything she needs. She's learned how to follow me, so she's become a good follower. I've maintained a good leadership. I've also reinforced lots of good behaviours. I've been playing the ball with her, give her a time to run. And now we're walking back, so we're setting her up for a new good home, whoever decides to adopt her when that time comes. And it's also good structure and things that I, I do with all my dogs that I, that I look after, and obviously my own dogs as well, and things that we teach throughout the basic obedience training as well. So hope that helps for you guys. And if there's any questions, leave comments in below and enjoy your training. Be well. Take care. Bye. Bang. <laughs> Time for some water, hey? Let's go. Good girl.